I guess, did you grow up here in Outwater as well? Yeah. Like your old life type shit? Yeah, I grew up um, on this side of town, though. Like Outwater? Yeah. yeah. Where'd you grow up? Like Cedar Avenue. <laughs> That's my uh, my home street. Uh, so you know where the water tower is? Uh-huh. It's probably like two blocks down, walking distance, super close. Okay. But it's that same street, Cedar Avenue. That's I love Cedar Avenue, bro. That's like that's that's like the one thing that keeps me in my like I guess like humble state, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like every single time I come back to town, like I drive by there. It's like God check it out, huh? Yeah, bro, remember the past. Like Do you uh does you, does your mom still live there? No, nah, fuck no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. But it's crazy, like the way my family's life transitions kind of it's kinda of cool. Like pretty much like when we were younger, you know, we weren't like like high class we were very like low income citizens you know my parents kind of came up and like i guess like when the recession happened and like all the houses like pretty much like like blew up you know what i mean yeah like that's when like i guess everything paid off because my dad like invested in homes and shit so it was kind of like you know like yeah like it was a trip though like cedar avenue wasn't the nicest place like we lived in front of some fucking gangsters and shit and like it was cool you know growing up as a little kid i had three brothers so like it was kind of tight, but yeah, man. I think it's just like the memories, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. Life's, <laughs> life's really a trip, bro. Like, You feel like you hang on to a lot of memories? 100%, man. Like, I feel like I'm the type of person where, like, I don't ever let memories go. Like, if I ever, like, do anything with myself, like, I'm going to remember everything from everyone, yeah. always. Like, like, I'll, I guess, like... I don't know how to explain it or put it into words. I'm just very, like, consumed by memories, I guess. Yeah. Like, I like making new memories just as much as I like reflecting on my old ones, if that makes any sense. I feel like that, too. I feel like um, I hang on to a lot of memories. Sometimes I feel like it's bad, though, if it you is. let it, if you let it, it like, you know? 100%. And there's parts of me where I feel like I don't, I don't like making new memories because it just kind of gets put back with all the other ones where it, it like, fucks with me in the future. You know, and no, it's just like more like shit that ends up fucking with me. This is the first time I've ever been in a fucking type of situation like this, so I also have to practice. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 this is hella funny. Oh man. Well, this is um. <laughs> Four minutes in, my guess is gone. Uh, what up, Dalt? Uh, this is episode twenty-five of the Mulberry Podcast. Hey, Dalt, come here. Come look at the. Come look at the the uh, the. Okay. Yeah, is it good? Yeah, it's cool. And I think that's a little more room for him. Okay. So. It's lit. <laughs> This is episode 25 of the Mulberry Podcast. I had my buddy, uh, Hippie Dren, in here with me. He had to go out, take a dabby. Facts. <laughs> Facts, I'm just That's saying. how you gotta tell yourself. You can put it on the mat. That's what I got the man. beer mat for, man. Beer mat, fuck, bro. It's clean. All right. Um, <clears throat> so I already introduced the podcast, so it's all good. But this is uh, Hippie Dren. That's how I know you, bro. Honestly, Hippie Dren. <laughs> Wait, how did you ever hear about me first? That's what I want to know. <laughs> um, well, you're friends with Jake Parker, right? Yeah, Parker. Yeah, he's so fucking awesome, dude. I'm best friends with uh, his older brother Matt, so he's like a brother to me too. So that's fucking tight. Yeah, the gotcha. first time I saw you was at the JC. Damn, you were bro. talking to Parker. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you just got out like music class or some shit. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. I love the JC for a certain reason. That was because like it was the best resources, I guess, around for what I could like I guess go do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna open it real quick. No, he, he got it. he got a key. It's all good. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Forget some? Yeah. No, no, it's all good. Huh. It's all good. 
But no, uh, what was I saying? Uh, the JC. Oh, yeah, dude. Choir. That shit was tight, man. Choir and, like, music classes. Like, that's really what I kind of went there for. Like, I really don't care about science or biology or, right. like, anything. It gets crazy because, like, when I was younger, I cared about it. But growing up, I kind of, like knew that i wanted to do music like i knew that that's the only interest that i really cared about so like i would only invest time in music so like i wouldn't even come to one of my fucking math classes you know right, just right. like only the music classes yeah <laughs> i mean that's just me you know what uh later at all um what got you into what got you so passionate about music music at like a young age what was like one of the first like experiences that you had so when i was like in third or fourth grade i remember there was this teacher uh, I'm trying to remember his name i don't remember his name but this was like elementary school you know he would come in and like part of the curriculum for school would be music class so like we would have like breaks and like the teacher would come and like you know what i mean during class we'd all do music we'd have like flutes and like other shit you know just like that shit was cool growing up like they don't do that shit anymore you know what i mean yeah like, I think that I remember that uh, I I was at Elmer Wood and we had like uh, yes, the little like plastic flutes yes, and like we learned how to play yes, music. Bro. Yeah, they literally taught us how to play music. And yeah. it's like now that shit's not it's non-existent. It's yeah. crazy. But I think that was one of the first things that inspired me. And two, I, I always wanted to play the guitar. Like, I don't even know what made me want to play the guitar. Maybe maybe it was that the teacher coming in and strumming, you know, because he would play the guitar, too. I don't know. But that shit kind of just clicked in my head, you know. It's like it's kind of all I wanted. Yeah. What kind of music did you, at like a young age, did you were you like exposed to? Uh, fuck, that's crazy because like all my friends know like I don't really have any fucking like music uh, like like I can't tell you any albums from the Beatles. Like I don't really I'm not cultured when it comes to music, right, right, you yeah. know. Like and it's crazy because like. The only thing that I really grew up listening to, like, my brothers, like, one of my brothers would play a lot of, like, EDM type of music, like, electronic shit, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, Daft Punk, obviously, like, all that shit. And then, like, my other brother would play more, like, rap, like, E-40, you know, like, Easy e and shit like that, like, old school shit. So, it's like, I guess I would be exposed to those, but, like, nothing directly, you know? It was kind of like a mix of everything. Right. And then, um... You're the youngest brother? Yeah. Okay. I'm the okay. baby, bro. That's just yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's just crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like my mom too, she would play Catholic music all the time, like some Christian okay. music. Like so it's like I never really got into anything up like until Like specifically? Like, yeah. Yeah. Growing up. Like yeah. up until like middle school. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the same experience for me. Like my dad, uh he listens to a lot of like eighties rock music and like you know like the hair bands and shit yeah that's just fire that's yeah just so like he he would like play it and like he would talk to me about like oh you know he taught me who like brad gillis was and like all these like yeah, yeah. you know like rock legends and stuff and uh it was cool and then like a lot of my family some of them listen like country music and then just whatever's on the radio like my mom like uh like red hot chili peppers and like the They're the fire. goo goo dolls and yeah, all them 100%. third eye blind like like the 90 rock bands yeah so yeah, like I think about middle school, beginning of uh, like high school is when I got into like music like of my own and started listening to it more and stuff. That's kind of when like iTunes was coming around, you know, because like yeah, we didn't have that when we were younger, you know. I would listen to, like Paul Wall and shit, like that shit's crazy. Yeah, like, that's shit <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Paul like, Wall and like, know, like uh, Mike Jones and yeah, all that. Yeah, bro, that's what my brothers would listen to. Like you know what I mean? So I, I kind of grew up listening to that. And I remember specifically having, like, this little square rectangle MP3 player, bro. And I used to go on, like, fucking LimeWire and shit. Was it a black one? <laughs> it was blue. It was, it was blue? <laughs> the little tiny blue yeah. one. Yeah. I would literally just plug that shit in, export my MP3 files, and then listen to them. <laughs> fucking LimeWire. Yeah, that. Dude. Yeah. That shit cool. sucks, man. I mean, <laughs> honestly, it is what it is now. I've obviously, like, the industry changed everything. Like, everything is now, like, streaming on online. Yeah, it's dude. It's crazy, like. People don't really get sales off their albums anymore. It's really yeah. like it's all the streams, bro. And most of the people who like do get sales off albums, they're probably throwing some merch in there. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like, get the bundle deals. <laughs> get the give bundle give deal. people an incentive to buy it. It's very smart. I'm, yeah, I'm doing that. You know, I'm gonna yeah, do that myself. most definitely. Because I know like Travis Scott did that with like the Kylie lip kits. Yeah, like when Astro World came out. Yeah, bro. you know, it's shit just, like that. You can uh, technically like do that shit. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's foul, but it's, like, it's real. Like, you can do that. Yeah. Sure. 
So uh, when you went to high school, uh, that's that when you when did you start learning to, like to play like you said you learned how to play the oh, piano. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So this was all elementary. Like I was explaining, like yeah. pretty much elementary school. They would come in, have a curriculum of like teaching us to play music. Probably like fourth grade. They're like, okay, the guy came in. He was like, do you guys want to play any instruments? Seriously. Like, he, like, showed us all the instruments. He was like, this is the saxophone, this is the trumpet, this is the, you know, all, everything, the clarinet. And, like, I remember everybody had an option whether to join band or not. And it was like, I wanted to join band, so I fucking started doing that shit. I put the trumpet first, so it was, like, super cool, you know what I mean? But it was like, I didn't really necessarily want to play the trumpet. I wanted to play the piano. So, like, my... Uh, I think it was elementary school. Yeah, my my fucking band class. There was a piano in there. Yeah. And like every single time where I would go for band practice, like I would just play the piano, and then like I'd be like fuck the trumpet up until the teacher came into the class, and then it's like all right, you know, trumpet time. But. So that's yeah. how you learned the. That's how you got interested in like the piano. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I remember like. I don't know if it was me or somebody else, but, like, they started playing it first, and then I was just kind of like, all right, I want to keep fucking with it and just make my own melodies, and, like, and it's crazy because I don't know how to read, like, uh, music. like No? Not on piano, no. Like, I literally just do everything by sound. Same thing with my guitar. Like, yeah. I can't tell you what I'm, what chord I'm playing. Like, I can't. <laughs> but you can play it? You can yeah, play it? I can yeah. play it, yeah. That's just weird. That's pretty cool, man. That's kind of like... Uh... <laughs> I do like that movie, like Goodwill Hunting. He's like hella smart, but like he doesn't give a fuck about it. But like he that knows how to crazy. do it, you know? Yeah, that's just I don't know, man. I wish I would have learned growing like up, like to play the chord and know the name of it, because it would have helped a lot. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. I think about that kind of. I think I might want my my kids to like learn to play the piano at like at a young age or something. It does something to your brain, man. It's like wires it differently when yeah. you're musically inclined. It's it's really different. It's like. I can't put it into words, but, you yeah. know, if you know, you know. Like, it's crazy. So, after high school, you uh, went to the JC, and at one point, did you decide that you were going to move to L.A.? Bro, it was crazy, because, like, all right. So, in and, high Because did you move to L.A. for, like, music? Yeah, specifically. Okay. I all went right. to school out there and everything. Okay. So, so, pretty much, like, my first thing was music. And, like, going out of high school, my parents were kind of, like... You know, my parents are very traditional and, like, Mexican as fuck. So, it's, like, they want me to go to a four-year university. You know, they're kind of, like, no, you're going to go study some. You know, I, I was, like, nah. Like, that's not me. Like, yeah. I know what I want. And I and I knew at a young age, like, I want to do music. Like, I knew at a young age. So, I was, like, nah, I'm going to find an opportunity for music. And then the first... Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was San Francisco, but that shit's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> just I don't know expensive. how people live there. Yeah, it's to the point where I honestly knew, like, that was kind of far out, you know what I mean? And I was yeah. like, all right, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I figured out something else. And then I was like, L.A.? Like, yeah, but what school is in L.A.? You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to go to a solid school. So I was like doing research and i found the school and i was just like you know what like i'm gonna tell my parents i want to go to la my parents like no <laughs> they're like no they're like nah you're tripping like you're not gonna go for music you know what you needed to go to a four-year university like and it's crazy like i love my parents like you know to death but it's like they pretty much told me no like the entire time yeah like literally three months out i asked them again i was like mom dad please they're like no I was like, all right, you know, like, I kind of felt a little bit down, but then I was like, nah, like, I'm going to give them a reason to go, let me go out there, you know, so I went to the JC, did all that shit, and then, that's the only reason I went to the JC, so that they can believe that I actually wanted to, like, you know what I mean, like, yeah. go, but it's crazy, bro, <laughs> I have some stories about the JC, that's just crazy, like, that's just crazy, bro, I love my parents, but, like, I'm going to be honest right now, like, there would be days where, like, I would be like, I'm going to go to school. But, like, I would literally go to the fucking Coffee Bandits and play music outside and, like, literally make music instead of go to class. Yeah. But whenever it was time to go to the music classes, like, I would be there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it was crazy. Yeah. Like, you knew what you wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, you know? yeah. I was I was highly motivated, like, around that time, to be completely honest. Like, I wanted to learn music so yeah. bad. You know what I mean? 
As I mean, it seems like you were obviously self-motivated because you didn't have that support yeah. from your parents, you know, but yeah, you still wanted to do is. that, you know? Yeah, bro. Like, like the heart does what it wants to do, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, I'm going to keep doing that shit no matter what. So it's like anything can happen and I'm still going to keep doing that. So then, uh, so when it got down to it, did they just, did they still say no, but you just went <laughs> anyway or? <laughs> no, it's crazy, bro. All right, so like. There was this, I think this is the last occasion when, like, my parents were kind of clicked. I was like, all right, might as well let them go. Like, we were all my grandparents' house. And, like, my whole family was there. Like, my whole family. Like, my dad has, like, 13 brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? So it was a lot of people there. And literally, somebody brought it up. I think it was my grandma. She brought it up. She was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, I want to <laughs> do music. And then my dad was like, nah, 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 nah. And everybody <laughs> got on my dad. Yeah, no, everybody got on my dad. Everybody was like, nah, nah, what are you talking about? Like, he wants to go and do that. Let him go and do that. Like, everybody. And I was just kind of like, I felt good. You know what I mean? I was like, wow. like You got some support. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> like, that really inspired me to even do more. So it was like seeing the support from all my family. And my dad was kind of finally like, all right, you know, like, I guess I'll support him too. Just because everybody's kind of like, you know. Not even necessarily that, but you know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of one of those things where it's like like seeing everybody else supporting me, it kind of just like lifted the spirits up, I guess. And yeah. Like I finally had the conversation with them, and he was kind of like, all right, like if you're serious about it, like like if you're serious, serious about it, you know, because growing up, like I would be playing the piano, but then I would be playing the guitar, but then I would be playing like trumpet, and then I'd be playing like every other thing that I can try to play. Like I had a drum set, like obviously like – my dad was kind of like he's everywhere you know what i mean yeah but like it was always music so yeah. it was like he was kind of just like all right if that's what you really really what you want like this is your only opportunity that i'm gonna give you you know what i mean so yeah. i was like all right like let's do it <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? and then like it's crazy because like my dad pretty much helped me the entire way up until i graduated and then he told me straight up even before i went to school he was like like this is it like this is all i'm gonna help you and then if that's what you want to do like you're going to have to go out into the world knowing that. You know yeah. what I mean? I was like, all right. So, like... You wanted to make sure that you were dead ass. Yeah, like, like, yeah. He yeah. told me straight up, he was like, I'm going to cut you off eventually. So, like, I need you to understand that if you go to school here, like, that's your final decision. And I was like, okay. Like, so, I was like, fuck it. I went to school. I graduated. What school then, did you go to? Uh, Musicians Institute. It's like, okay. It's on Hollywood Boulevard. It's, it's cool. They have really nice studios and like I learned how to use like SSL Neves like every hardware like you can think of like amazing That's school. cool man. So you got to like really get into like how it all works. Yeah, bro. We literally I recorded hella bands. Like I recorded this band one time. Oh my god. Fucking amazing, bro. Uh high quality porn music is their name. <laughs> 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 That's their name yeah, of the band. That's wild. High quality porn music, man. <laughs> That's They're wild. Fucking tight, but and also, when you when you graduated, yeah, you just decided to stay out there. Did you meet your girl? Yeah, oh, so pretty much like all right. So I pretty much went out there for school, did it for like two years, graduated, and then like after I graduated, I just got a job like to pay my bills, you know, because like like I said, my dad kind of just like cut me off, so he was like, after you graduate, you're paying your own rent, you're paying your own bills, like. The only thing that I'm not paying is, like, my phone and shit, you know, just, like, simple shit like that. Like, yeah. But, like, he was straight up, he was just, like, you got to go do it yourself if that's what you want. And I was, like, all right, like, I'll go fucking, I'll go do it, you know. And then, yeah, I've been out there for, like, three years now. That's good, man. And it's not necessarily, like, it's crazy, like, everybody's worst ethic and, like, everybody's, what's the word, like, creative process is different. And, like, for me, I can't... F or that shit like obviously i discipline myself to make music and shit but like it's not like i can't just like put like automatic heat yeah, in there yeah. you know what i mean it has to come out be correctly like i guess like organic yeah you know? just come naturally yeah yeah that organic shit always hits bro that shit's that shit's nice yeah that shit's nice like i probably like i think f me as a person like i really like nice like natural sounds like guitar acoustic guitar like bells you know just like really like i guess like meditation type shit you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like yeah. it's really cool to listen to that shit it's really beautiful sounds like almost therapeutic yeah you uh because you dropped the 
that single on like Spotify a, a few months back. Yeah, bro. It was like in June. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, man. I appreciate everybody's support with that shit, man. That shit. It's crazy. It was man. dope because it was like it was com- it was a complete, you know, yeah, professional, bro. professionally done. Yeah, you know? man. I put That's a cool lot of time see. into it, bro. Like it's crazy because I feel like a lot of people don't even understand how much like effort and time and like actual like getting shit done a music like a, a song takes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that shit takes <clears throat> a lot. Like that's why albums be taking years sometimes. Yeah, bro. It's it's not necessarily just that, but like it's like the whole song process is like a whole 12 step like you know what i mean like it's yeah. a lot of fucking steps to that shit yeah. like marketing like all that shit it's really important and it's like hard to do by yourself yeah. <laughs> that shit's hard would you say that that was your first like official song yeah facts i mean i know you had other stuff yeah, like yeah. i've heard you know other stuff yeah, but yeah. like that Officially, was like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like my debut as an artist for sure. Okay. 100%. Like, that's what I wanted it to be. And it's like, I feel like my sound, like, there's a lot of other songs that I made, but like something that I feel like is me and reflects me as a, like, musician, as a person, like, that's definitely. Yeah. That's definitely my sound, you know. That's cool, man. I'm super happy about it. It's like, finally have something to be able to show people, you know, like, I've always done music, and if you know me, like, I've always done music, but, like, to actually have something done on paper and, like, you know, you can listen to it. Yeah. I feel like that's the most important thing. Yeah, I bet that feels good, bro. Especially all the, like, the, you growing up and always being into it, and then going from the JC to LA and going to school for it, and then finally, you know, a couple years after having something completed. Yeah, man, yeah. it's crazy because it took a lot of, like, time, a lot of emotion, a lot of, like, effort, but, like, it's done, you know, and I'm happy about it, and honestly, I'm just trying to release more music now, like, I feel like it's to the point where, like, that's a solid release, you know what I mean? Like, let's just keep going with some more solid music, you know, and that's really how I feel about it, I gotta just keep coming at it with, yeah. I have heat too, you know? Yeah, it's, there's it's a lot, like, you got a lot of support for that, man. Like, yeah, do you feel bro, like that's I love, I love people yeah. who, bro that shit is crazy because me as a person like I'm not necessarily always motivated now as much as I used to be so like when people support me that shit's like it means the world bro yeah, you yeah. know what I mean like that shit keeps me going so that's what like, I was gonna ask is like after you, after seeing that and the reaction that you got yeah. like that did that make you feel like wanting to just continue even more yeah bro 100% because like all right, so one thing about me as a person is I'm a fucking perfectionist, man. Like, I'm a straight perfectionist. So, like, I'll be listening to the same song, like, 200 times before I'm satisfied. You yeah. know what I mean? And, like, I think it got to a point where, like, everybody around me told me to stop doing that. <laughs> you really? know what I mean? They're yeah. like, yo, like, stop fucking being a perfectionist. Like, it's never going to be perfect. You just got to settle. Because you'll always good find something, like, yeah. wrong or that doesn't, doesn't yeah, feel right. Always. Yeah, always. At least me, because it's my own voice, you know? Like, I'm my own critics most of the time. So it's like... But at the same time, like, as much as, like, I want it to be perfect, like, all that other shit is what really makes the song good, you know? Like, you have to release it at one point. It's like... I can't just keep holding on to it, you know. <laughs> like I gotta yeah. release the music, <clears throat> and it's just like something that I recently kind of, I guess, adjusted to my mindset. I'm yeah. like, all right, I gotta like release music and like show people like beautiful music. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just have something else in your playlist, something else that's not about like you know just anything. Like, not the same old shit that you hear nowadays. I mean, it's tight, bro. <laughs> I listen to everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like. I feel like just acoustic guitar, those nice, like, hums and, like, sounds, you know, like, it's it's therapeutic to a certain extent. Yeah. And it's just beautiful to listen to that, you know, like, you don't always got to be listening to no fucking crazy rap or no, like, you know, crazy metal or anything. Like, it's cool to just chill sometimes. Yeah, that's facts, man. You go, uh, you go by Dren on Spotify and all that? Yeah, Dren. Okay. I wanted it to be hippie Dren, but I was just like... I mean, I don't want to be a hippie my whole life. I mean, I kind of am naturally, but, like, yeah. it's kind of just, like, I think just Dren because that's yeah. my name, you know? Yeah. Because I was going to ask, like, where you came up with, like, hippie Dren. How long have you been 
That shit's funny, bro. Cause I'm Cause, like, like, how long you been cre- being called that? Because, dude, that's literally all I know you by. If you dream, that's yeah. crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, my fucking friend George, bro. Shout out to George. He's hilarious. But George, <laughs> fucking me and him grew up together, type shit. Like from like elementary, like sixth grade camp and shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. shit's just crazy. Sixth grade camp. Yeah, bro, that shit's <laughs> crazy. But yeah, he like was like dream. I'll be hipster George be hippie Dren. I'm like start laughing hella <laughs> hard we're just like alright whatever bro. it was funny how naturally that sounded that came yeah like, bro he was just he was funny bro <laughs> we were on some other shit when you were younger you know yeah. like it was tight so it was like alright fuck it so then we just all started calling each other that and then it just kind of <laughs> became our Instagram handles and shit yeah so it's kind of funny bro. yeah um so what's your what's your big like what's your big plan like when you think like a few years from now with like the music do you music? have like a big goal in mind or are you kind of just going with the flow i mean to be honest the way that i'm looking at this right now like <clears throat> i'm always going to be making music for the rest of my life like always you know like that shit just comes out of me that's one of my emotional outlets you know like, yeah so like i think to become better me like a better me when it comes to like vocals like song production just like relationships like everything like become the best person i can be and like the music would kind of just come out of me organically better and better and better yeah i feel like if i have like a mindset where it's like everything around me is great and like beautiful and inspirational like that's gonna you know what i mean i'm gonna release good shit yeah so i mean for me it's like a healthy lifestyle that I'm really looking for like and I know music can take me there if I do it correctly you know so I'm trying to just like I said like be qualitative like really qualitative like is it uh something you want to like like professionally do like like that's that's what you want to be known for yeah music, yeah 100% like I don't think anything else <laughs> yeah I mean maybe cars you know what I mean? yeah. but yeah no music for sure that's just something that like I feel like all that time that I put and invested, like, I feel like me being a professionalist, like, it's to the point where, like, I almost perfect it, but I don't. It's like I put so much time into something and it's like it's never going to be perfect. It's like, but like also all that time put in, you know, it's worth something. It's like it's qualitative, you know, it makes the song, I guess, better. You know what I mean? Like, all those hours just listening and, like, putting more shit into it and, like, I guess just, like, wanting the best out of the song. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's really what it is. So you just have that one out right now or do you have another one? Yeah, that's it right now. That's right now. I mean, I have a song coming out. I just got the mix back literally today. Like, I'm messaging the engineer, so it's cool. But, um, yeah, that'll be the next one. And then I have... Dude, I have a whole vault. Like, I'm just... It's one of those things where, like, the whole writing process, everything takes time. Yeah. And it's, like, I want to do, do it correctly. You yeah. Know? What do you... What do you... Like, what do you find yourself writing the most? Like, at night, in the morning, <laughs> randomly? To be honest, it all depends on how I'm feeling that day. It sounds yeah. crazy, but, like, <laughs> it all depends. Like... I've it's it's been to the time where like or it's been to the point where like I've told myself like all right I'm gonna record all day today you know, and then some shit happens then like it throws off my whole mood yeah. you know what I mean so it's like it really depends on that day and how I'm feeling and yeah. like to be honest excuse me <laughs> to be honest uh probably at night like in the middle of the day sometimes sunset like I'll I'll try to go to nice places and just think about shit and yeah. write you know what I mean. Cause like you said, um, <laughs> like you said, how like you're always like you know you ha- hang on to a lot of memories. You always seem to be always thinking about shit. You know. Yeah, dude. So, like I don't know. It sounds fucking crazy, but like I was in the shower the other day, and I was just like, dude, imagine if you can like plug in a fucking patch into your head or something and watch your memories on the TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that should be crazy. Like, that'll probably be something that'll actually be real in the future i hope so man that'd be cool if you able to just like pick out your memories like a fucking you know yeah. what i mean like a dvd player or something <laughs> just like oh yeah let's check this one out <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. hopefully you know, i don't know 
But no, because we talked about before uh, earlier how you could feel so inspired, like like when you're at work, like your regular job, mm-hmm. and then when you get off, you're just fucking tired, man. Dude, you don't even yeah, man. Do it. All right, I'm gonna be honest. Like, shit gets real, bro. Like, life isn't always so good and so woo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and like sometimes you don't have time to sit and ponder and think. Yeah, man. And write. It's like, bro, I got fucking bills and, and, and you fucking, shit like yeah, that. You're you know? grown up now. Man. Yeah. It's crazy because I mean, as much as like I don't want to be paying for my own shit, like it also kind of builds you as a person. Yeah. You know? Like it, it <clears throat> builds a certain character within you and like. It just kind of you come to show yourself like all right i could do this you know what i mean and it's one of those things where at the end of the day you kind of have to be like willing to just kind of do it like that's it just do it you know but it does feel good to be able to pay for your own shit yeah bro to be honest even if it's like i'd rather have all my bills paid and not have much money in the bank but at least i know my shit's paid Paid, yeah facts yeah no i feel that bro to be honest, ever since, like, coronavirus came out and shit, bro, it's kind of been crazy, I feel like. I mean, I honestly wasn't experienced that bad at my fucking workplace. Like, we still were working, but there was a point where I was getting, like, 20 hours, bro. Yeah. Shit was brutal. But then it's like, you just get, like, the partial EDD or whatever, and it was just like, all right, cool. Yeah. Like, it, it makes up for it. <laughs> it was just crazy. Shit, my job was the other way around. We got more busy. During got, coronavirus yeah. times? Oh, shit. Because we print, like, food labels. So oh, when everyone yeah, was freaking yeah. out and, oh, like, wild. buying all the food, like, our the demand just went up. Yeah. So from, like, my creative process, like I said, I was dropping podcasts weekly, sometimes twice a week. And yeah, then yeah. when I got put on, like, 12-hour shifts and just working all day, six days a week sometimes. That shit sounds brutal. Like, man. I don't... <laughs> Like I have, it's not that I I have time, but it's like I just want to go home and just go to sleep, sleep bro. I'm just tired, rest. you know. Yeah, man. It's hard it. to stay consistent with yeah. a schedule like that, but but that's real. That I mean, that that's real, bro. That's real life stuff yeah, that you have to real. handle before you know. But it's crazy because you can stuff. go about shit differently, like yeah. depending on who you are as a person and kind of like what you can do in your own head, and then actually perform it in person in life. You know, like depending on you, like you can really go about life anyway like you can literally go hustle every day you know and make it it's just whatever you're willing to do and it's like i think there comes a certain like i guess like acceptance within yourself when it's like uh, i guess like how would i say it like there comes a certain like satisfaction i guess out of being able to just consistently pay your bills off of a job you know yeah sounds like like i hate nine to fives but it's just like <clears throat> security in it you know it's like you're not that's a fact you're not gonna not get a paycheck you know yep. what i mean like having a nine to five is consistent and it's like i think that's why i want to really like obviously don't want to work a nine to five but that's why i do it it's consistent you know you I'm know gonna you're pay. gonna get a check yes and i hate like not knowing i'm gonna get a yeah. check that's stressful yeah bro. you know like and to me it's like i get paid weekly so it's super chill it's yeah like, Literally, I'm I'm gonna get a check, yeah. unless I literally fuck up to the point where it's like, yo, what the fuck? You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> but uh, nah, I'm pretty. I do my job. You know what I mean? But you are right. Everybody is different, and there are people who they just put their head down and they just work. And yeah, you bro. know and that. That kind of reminds me of my dad. Like he, his whole life's been a truck driver, and he's just busted his ass for yeah. you know thirty plus years yeah, to support all of us. You know. Same, bro. Same. And there's a lot of honor in that. Yeah, bro. That's just. It's crazy how much effort some people are willing to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, him and, him and my my mom have allowed me to be able to kind of have more of a creative space and have more time to think about things and more time to find things that I want to do that my dad didn't have time to do. All he had time to do was, like, I got to go to work, and that's what I got to do, you know? That's Yeah, bro, but that's, that's like – yeah. that's, that's lifestyle, bro. That's taking care of your family. That's, like – that's real, you know? Yeah. You got to really do it. If I have a kid ever, you know what I mean? That's uh, – kids are priority, bro. Like, yeah. every, your life changes. Like, you can't really be thinking about what well, I'm going to do. It's what my children are going to have and, like, making sure you got food on the table for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's wild to me how, like, some people would just kind of, like, neglect a child. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like once that shit comes into your life, you got to – I mean, there's no going back, you know. You got to kind of accept it and just fucking be a man about that shit. 
my mom told me like two weeks ago she's like you know it's okay if you're you know you want to be selfish and do what you want to do but if you have a kid you don't you can't do that yeah, anymore bro, so just remember that yeah you can't do you that you can't no be more. selfish with a kid and a lot of people are they just continue to like still do what they want and act how they want it's like bro you your have a priority here, now you yeah, know it's, it's yeah. your first priority man yeah. but no man salute to you for uh you know pursuing your passion and even though like initially didn't have the support and all that because I, mean, I did don't get me wrong like, i always did but for me it was like growing up like i have like i said a very traditional father yeah. mexican traditional father so like he always wanted to see shit like all right go get a job get paid bring that money home you know what I mean? what's that word what's that word for that it's like most cheese mo or some shit like that yeah. Oh, machismo. Yeah, the yes, machismo. my dad's very machismo. Yeah, yeah, there you 100%, go. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy because that's just how the Mexican tradition, like how back then, that's how it was, bro. I mean, obviously not everybody's like that, but if if you're Mexican, you know what I mean, you have some traditional Mexican parents, you kind of know what I mean. It's yeah, like it's one of those things where like the dad kind of controls most of the stuff, you know. It's like it's just how it was in Mexico, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's crazy. Cause I have a buddy at work, <clears throat> he's like early 30s now but he has a like three kids you know lady you know but uh when he graduated high school he wanted to go to san francisco and like um forget what he wanted to do like graphic designing or something like that and his dad was like nah you're gonna go to work yeah like just basically made him go to work and kind of like he always had that dream and he never got to pursue it to this day and there's a lot of people who don't get to pursue their dreams because of whatever it is well, whatever it is yeah. yeah man it happens much too often i see it. you know there's people who are very passionate about something but then they just don't believe themselves enough or somebody else makes them not believe in themselves enough yeah it's like shitty man and you gotta not lose faith ever you gotta know that you are good enough every yeah. day you know what i mean like you gotta remind yourself that you're, you're more than good enough like you know what i mean yeah, that's one thing that i guess like took me there to where i'm at as well right now it's like you didn't let anyone around you, like, deter you from what you wanted to nah, do. Nah, man, like, it doesn't matter if it's my, like, my parents, my own parents, like, their opinion does not stop me, you know right. what I mean? It's like, like, nobody, I don't care who you are, like, right. yeah. I'm always do me, and I'm gonna be the best that I can be, you know what I mean? Like, straight up, like, I think that's the one thing that I, like, my worth ethic might not be, like, the greatest, and, like, I might not always be consistent with music, but I promise you, like, when I drop, like, it's going to be fire. Yeah. Like, it's going to be time. It's going to be quality. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's going to be worth it. So it's like, I'm trying to my best to finish music and to finish, like, a project or, like, maybe a few songs. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's my goal. Like, I'm trying to drop a project. But I need I need more fans, man. I need people <laughs> to want me to drop a project. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just feel like... As an artist, I don't deserve to drop an album yet. <laughs> like, I'm not there yet, you know? Yeah. I feel like I need to make a fan base and, like, really just establish myself as an artist. And it's like, I'm getting there, you know what I mean? It's yeah, man, it's a process. I honestly just started being serious about myself as an artist about a year ago, like, to be honest. Like, yeah. I never really, like, all right, so going to that school... I met my like one of my my brother pretty much Axon and he he's helped me with everything. He's like telling you, man, I can't thank him enough. But like, yeah, bro, me and him be working all the time. Because you know? I was gonna ask you, did you get did you like make any connections? Yeah, man. Being, so, especially being in LA, man, that's such a huge like audience. It's cool, but it's it has to be real and organic, man. That's what like a lot of people out there. I've I've been in in many situations, you know, and like. A lot of people are usually looking for something out of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're always trying to like. Fucker. People need something to judge you off of, especially in the place of LA. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, your worth, your work speaks for you. You know what I mean? And like, you have to be consistent and you have to be qualitative over there. So it's like, if if you're somebody who like I don't know for me for example like when I first first moved out there. Like, shit kind of got ugly because I, I was naive, you know? Like, I didn't really know. Somebody pretty much tried using me for my music, and I was kind of just like, like, nah, man. Like, learned a lot from it, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, that shit doesn't happen in Outwater, bro. Like, once you move out, like, and actually go out into the wild, into the real world, not Outwater, not Merced, not Sherlock, like, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, that that is the real world, but, like, 
not it's a large local. city, man. Like you gotta leave, you gotta yeah. leave your local and and be it, like it teaches be, you so much. It's yeah. crazy. You gotta be the small fish that doesn't know anybody. Yes, and like I promise you, your your knowledge will expand on so many levels. Like throwing yourself out into the water and just like learning to swim, bro. You gotta do that. If yeah. you do, at least one point in your life, you know, like you learned a lot. I feel like you learned the most that way. I feel like majority of people are too scared to do that, though. It's okay or to, to stick their neck I out. I was, you know what I mean. Like it, it's it's crazy because like there's always going to be something in your own self that tells you you're not good enough. Yeah. There's always going to be something else that tells you you are good enough. So it's like you got to know and and kind of like communicate those two properly. And you know what I mean. And like I feel like a lot of people let themselves like not believe, and it's like. I'm telling you, bro. You just gotta you gotta know that you're enough. That you yeah. can do it. You know what I mean? It's like we're all the same fucking, th- the same thing, bro. We're all human. Like, <laughs> yeah. like y- you're no different than anybody else. You have, you're perfectly healthy and have your hands and legs and everything. Like, there's no reason you shouldn't be at the top. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that just comes down. Part of it comes down to people's work ethic and their drive. Their men- mindset, bro. Their mindset. Your mindset's the most important thing in life. And honestly. it doesn't matter what it is. It has to be anything creative. It could just be, like you said, like going to work just and being the best mindset. you can be. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the number one thing in life. And I feel like a lot of people right now are struggling because of, you know, they've been inside all the time, like coronavirus and life gets boring and shit. But, like, it's crazy, bro. It's kinda, you kind of have to keep yourself busy. You got to keep yourself distracted. But in a, like good way you know what i mean like yeah progressive distracted <clears throat> type of way not be on social media so much too seeing what everybody else is doing i'm not gonna lie like everybody's on social media yeah. all the time but it's also one of those things where like you gotta know like gotta know like how to look at it you gotta know yeah, like, bro, like that and like not let it consume you and yes that's what the you most see important thing. and then feel like man i'm not I'm nowhere near there i'm not even close to being that it's like bro that you're exactly where you often, need to be bro that's yeah. crazy yeah. i feel that you are exactly where you need to be i I've, I've been there too though man like i see other shit and i'm like fuck i'm never like like what the hell am i doing you know but i try to like remind myself like it's all right like it's always all just right. stay in my lane and do what i'm doing and yes it, man you have to really and just be... not stop that's yeah, the biggest bro. thing yeah, so it's crazy to me because like literally like you got to be the best you and like it's so easy to compare yourself to other people and like kind of like feel some certain type of way but like you have to be in control of your emotions you have to be you have to know like i feel like that mindset it all comes back to your mindset like that shit can't get to you like that shit doesn't matter at all like at the end of the day like yeah materialistic things are nice and doing that and all this shit but like you got to be healthy you got to be wholesome you got to have a positive just like outlook on life not necessarily be like pessimistic you know because there's a lot of people who kind of shut things down automatically or like nah like or it'll be like you want to go out like nah or like you know like kind of just like oh, i just want to stay home all day it's like once you start growing up you're gonna reflect on that and be like fuck i kind of wish i would yeah not stay home all day you know what i mean go experience some shit that's it experiences bro build experiences throughout your life like you're gonna have something to remember something to look back to and be like that shit was tight yeah. that shit was fun you know yeah like that's one thing about me man like pretty pretty wild for the most part <laughs> when it comes to like just doing shit you know what i mean yeah. like like i don't know man you gotta live your life you gotta like got to do i feel like what you want to do and like do it <laughs> that sounds funny but like <laughs> like ferals you just got to do it man yeah. no nah, but it seems like that's what you're doing so far and like i think you're right where you need to be and i think it's dope that you're still like that you're where you're at and how you got there and you haven't given up nah bro that's the thing i mean giving up is the worst thing you can do for yourself because you've put so much time and effort into things it's like like why would you give up even even if i'm 32 and i haven't done shit with my life i'm gonna still keep doing music because it's like that shit that shit's gonna pay off like it's really just also about putting yourself in the right situations knowing how to deal with people's social you know social interactions being aware like just being a good person in general like all that shit contributes to you and how your life goes like if you're like meeting new people and then you kind of have this opinion about them and you're like oh no i don't really fuck with them or something like that could have 
right there, maybe an opportunity or maybe something just, uh, you know, a lifelong friend, like just because you want to be like, nah, I don't fuck with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you have to know how to go about things with people and like be open and willing to like create new relationships, I feel like, and like do it correctly and like good energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like that's it. It's just yeah. good energy because like, I don't know, man, I want everybody to win. Like I want, I want everybody to win. Like I want to be able to come to Hot Water and like, everybody that grew up here have their own dope ass crib where they grew up you know what I mean? yeah. like shit like that it's like and it's possible it is bro and it'll happen if literally people just do what they need to do you know what i mean it's like yeah. it really comes down to how how much worth ethic and how much worth you're willing to put in and like like you either want it that fucking bad or like it's not really like you don't want it that fucking bad you know yeah. it's like it's really what it comes down to and it's like if you're going to get it, you know, you just know you're going to get it. It's like, go into it with that mindset of I'm going to get it and it'll happen. Yeah. That That's just crazy. Fast, man. But hold on, let me check this shit. Man, you good. Oh, it's nothing. Let me turn that shit off. But, um, so like you grew up here in, in uh, in Outwater. You grew up in Out, uh, Outwater High School. Is that where you went for? Yeah, I went to Outwater High. Yeah, I went to Elmer Wood right here. Elmer Wood, bro. That's just crazy. You then, f- uh, kindergarten through sixth grade? Yes, yeah. sir. Woodchuck. And then I went to Mitchell bro, first. Mitchell, <laughs> Mitchell's wild, bro. I feel like every single person that grew up in Outwater has a story about Mitchell Senior. Fuck yeah, dude. That's so, the first time only, I... Like, it's only middle school type shit. Like, that's like the first time I saw weed and like kids were yeah, smoking dude, in the bathroom. Yeah, man. Like, that shit was wild. Middle school is <laughs> a crazy point in your life. Yeah. Man. It honestly is like you're kind of just floating through like life type shit. Yeah, man. Like, it's crazy. Just trying to figure it out. Yeah. You know. Middle school is wild, man. And then... uh. Yeah, I went to Atwater High, so. High school was so fast, too. That's the thing about fucking. It is. I was just going to say, I remember the, I still remember uh, orientation as a freshman, <laughs> like in the summer. <laughs> that shit's wild, I still bro. remember that day. <laughs> fucking, what were they called? Your fucking uh, pen, or leaders, or whatever the fuck they were called. Take what it was around. that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Just walk you around campus and yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit's hilarious, bro. <laughs> But yeah, man, I, I went to Buhack. It was tight. Buhack was cool. It was just like, you know what I mean? Typical high school. I would go. It's crazy because me and my friends, like, we weren't the best, you know what I mean, students. Like, I feel like we'd be going smoking and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just typical, like, <laughs> high school shit. On your fucking fast times at Ridgemont High shit. That shit, that's just crazy, <laughs> but yeah, man. But I mean, I feel like, like I said, I always kind of knew what I wanted to do. Like, I remember in, when I went to Alwater High School, I went for one year. And I, there was this teacher, uh, what the fuck was his name? Uh, Mr. Hunsuck, who's a math teacher. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Hunsuck, bro. Uh. He was funny, bro. He's just like this lanky fucking, he was a cool teacher, though, you know what I mean? But I pretty much like knew everything already in that math class, like, because the way that PHAC taught it, they taught the first part of the curriculum last in in outwater high school they taught the last part first okay so i was relearning the same exact thing i learned at buhack so i was pretty much in outwater and i knew everything and i was just like well if i just take the test because you'd have tests every week i'm just like if i just take the test and pass it can i just go play my guitar outside and he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's literally like all right if you can pass it yeah i was like all right cool <laughs> probably like this fucking kid yeah the dude shit. literally <laughs> i fucking gave him a test every week and i'd be like four like 10 out of 10 9 out of 10 you know what i mean i i knew what i was doing like with that class and he pretty much was like all right just go play it outside right there by the fucking tree so, so he lets you play your yes, guitar bro that's Shout pretty out dope to Mr. Hunsuck, bro. <laughs> yeah man when i was fucking i remember bro i would just sit by the fucking tree and there was like a bench right there at water high just playing my guitar and sing bro <laughs> that's clean man <laughs> yeah man like all my teachers kind of knew like that i only cared about music <laughs> because like even like in high school i you had i had to teach her miss hill <laughs> shout out miss hill she's dope but like bro she literally i would take my guitar to class and she'd be like you look like bob dylan <laughs> like, <laughs> like she, she should be telling me that shit every day i'm like i don't even know who bob dylan is <laughs> like literally she's like what like i was like yeah i, I don't know who bob dylan is like I said, I'm, like, really uncultured. Like, I didn't yeah. know who Bob Dylan was. And I looked them up, and I just started cracking up, bro. That shit was funny. That's funny, dude. But, no, like, she, she like, literally would let me play the guitar, too. Like, it was, like all my teachers usually would, like, let me do that shit. And it's, like, it's cool, you know? Yeah, that's cool that they saw you as, like, you know, like, he, just, he wants to play his music and not, like, just some fucking defiant-ass kid, you know? Yeah, bro. And it, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, 
I probably should have been paying, paying attention, you know what I mean? But, like, that, I, it's crazy because that's not what I cared about, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanted music, bro. Yeah. I wanted to play the guitar. I wanted to play the little fucking keyboard. Like, I wanted to do all that shit. So, I was like... And, and it's funny because I would try to. Like, I would go to school and I, like, ask the teacher, like, try to figure out some type of way for me to go outside and play my guitar, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even during lunch, like, I would be playing the guitar and just practicing. Like, it's crazy, bro. It's like... That's that's kind of why, you know what I mean. I, I do what I do just because it's like, it just came, came yeah, comes right. out of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's like, like all that work. I'm I'm never gonna stop. Like it's only gonna make me better. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's like, yeah. Fuck, man, that shit's deep, man. Yeah, that shit is, man. That's like real passion right there. And, and it's crazy, bro, because like even my music, like that shit's super deep to me like i literally like w- go through all my shit and i'll just listen to it and like i'll start crying bro like that shit's real like you know what i mean like yeah. it's crazy because like i like i said I, I wasn't really like too serious about me being myself as an artist and like a year ago i kind of just was like let's do it let's just start making music and singing and like you know and then i was like fuck it like i actually getting some good music out and like then i started getting more serious and then it got to got to a point where it was like all right, like, we kind of have something here, you know? Like, you have something that's solid, sounds good, you know what I mean? And, like, I think I didn't believe in myself, like, as much as I needed to. And then, like I said, like, I met my friend Axon, and he was just like, nah, bro, like, this is fire. Like, this is fire. Like, you need to just do music and yeah. sing. And I was like, fuck, man, like, I don't know. He's like, nah, bro, just do it. It's fire. And I was like, okay, fine. So I just started doing music like that and started singing more and then, yeah, man, now I have, like, I would say, like, 14, 15 songs that are, like, they're not done, but they're, like, the structure's there, you know what I mean? Like, the, I'm, I'm not, I don't have to start from scratch, you know what I mean? Right. So, I'm, like. Yeah, bro, I would just keep dropping shit, dude. Yeah, just that's the plan, keep, man. Just it's gotta hard, keep though, supplying. Like, like, all right, so, if you didn't know, I guess for, like, music, like, it takes, like, a month to, like, drop, even after the song's already finished and you put it on the internet, so it's, like. You have to wait a whole month before you even like send the song to like get distributed to everywhere. So it's like it's a long yeah, process. It's time consuming, yeah. So even if I try to drop it now, I still have to wait a month. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just how it is. So it's just like That's fucking annoying. But it you know what I mean? It also gives you time to We could do like a little three song E P or something. Yeah, you know? that's what I was gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna be real, I was gonna do that this year, but then I was just kinda like had other opportunities and other plans for those songs, so I'm like probably gonna yeah. do like uh two videos like next year okay yeah i'm super excited i'm gonna drop two videos 100 percent next year so that's good man to get the visuals out man yeah that and then just the vibes you know what i mean like some music that's not necessarily just like acoustic based and not necessarily like you know some more upbeat shit yeah and i feel like it'll be cool you know what i mean trying to just show a different Your versatility yeah 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 for sure that's dope man so i'm excited honestly i think I think I have a lot, a lot to give out to the people to listen to my fans. Like, I'm super excited. It's just like, it's all formulated. Like, it's all formulated. So you guys gotta, you know what I mean? Yeah. I promise you, it'll be worth the wait. But it's oh, yeah, all, dude, it's I'm all excited. formulated, man. You have to do it correctly. You know what I mean? But uh, fucking dren, bro. Yeah, man. I'm fucking I feel great, man. It's, it's insane. I honestly wasn't even supposed to be here, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. it's lit bro everything's supposed to happen how it's supposed to yeah man but um car accident fucking what was i gonna tell you i'll put uh the your spotify link in the description and like your instagram in the description and all that yeah hell so yeah, people man. can you know look you up and stuff yeah for sure listen to your music i'd appreciate that honestly uh, it's, yeah. and the thing is like i'm just kind of trying my hardest with this shit you know what i mean i feel like at the end of the day, you just try the hardest. It'll take you somewhere, you know. Be a good person. Try I think hard. people will see that, bro. I didn't realize how, like, I knew you're always into music because, like, every time hearing about you, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, something but, with music, yeah. But yeah, man, like, you seem like that's all you, like, you're passionate about it. And yeah, that's man. good, and that make makes it exciting for like someone who wants to hear what you got, bro. Like, yeah, I feel that. You know, it's honestly something like there's not a lot of things that I care about in life. To be honest, like I care about my family and all that shit, you know what I mean? Like, but like something that is a passion of mine, it's really just like cars and fucking music, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, that's really it for me. So all my energy and all my effort either goes to my music or to my car. Obviously, like I have my family, my girlfriend, like everything that else is around me that's important, but like 
those are the two things that I, I feel like do consume my time the most. <laughs> That's good, though. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I appreciate you coming, coming yeah, on, bro. Yeah, bro, of course, 100%. It means a lot, man. bro. We got a I solid hour in, bro. Being. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, looking forward to your music and all that, bro. Seriously. Yeah, I appreciate it. But bro, I'll uh, show it to you right now. All nice. right. Yeah, sure. But, yeah, this is... um. This is Dren, a.k.a. Hippie Dren. My pleasure. (laughs) This is a Mulberry Podcast. We'll see you guys next time.